All right, YouTube. I have, uh, if you're watching this video, then you're probably, uh, the reason why you're doing it is because you're uh, wanting to build a GPS guided robot. And I have several videos on YouTube uh, of different videos, some of them large, some of them small, uh, that I've made over, over the last probably year and a half. And I uh, imagine you're, you're probably wanting to build, build one of these myself. I've been getting a lot of requests uh, to give people the code and everything and show you how to build it and everything. So anyway, um, this is going to be a uh, video about how to build a GPS guided robot. And this is going to be the first in a, in a series of, of videos. Um, first of all, I guess I need to kind of explain to you exactly what it does, how it works. Um, I had a have an app here that I've made in uh, MIT App Inventor, and what it does is it uh, connects up to the robot, and the Bluetooth. This here is a little Bluetooth module. It connects up uh, via, via Bluetooth, and then you can do different things. You can have it. Um, you see, you go forward, stop, left, right, reverse, and all that. You can turn turn ninety degrees to left, ninety to right, and you can have it turn around. Uh, do a compass drive so when, when you when you set the compass heading uh, you can press that compass drive button it'll just maintain that that course and keep going in the in a, in a straight line and then on, uh, the other feature is, is the the GPS um, you can take and set a uh, GPS destination and have it return to that uh, to that point in other um, videos I've got it to where you can set multiple destinations and so it can go from point A to point B, C, D, E, F, G, right on down the line. So anyway, that's that's how how it works. And what I'm going to be doing over the uh, course of time is uh, um, putting that that information out there, so that if you want to build your own uh, GPS guided uh, robot, that you you can do that. But anyway, this before we do that wanting to build a GPS guided robot what I would suggest you do is first of all I've made a, um, a series of videos it was three three videos basically showing you how to put this chassis together right here this is a cheap uh, chassis that you can get off of eBay for like 25 bucks um, the uh, the other robot here this is a um, uh, servo city runt rover chassis and I think those are like 35, maybe 40 bucks like from Servo City. But uh, these right here are fairly cheap. You can get them for, I've seen them as, as little as like 15 to $17, I think. But most of them are around like 20 to 25. So you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need this uh, robot chassis to be able to build it with. You're gonna need a, um, a Arduino Mega. And you're gonna need an L293D, I believe, is the this uh, module. It just plugs plugs right onto the uh, onto the uh, Arduino board. It's a it's it's a motor shield. It uh, controls the the four motors here. Um, I've got this here is just a uh, this is something that the uh, Arduino Mega sits into. Just to hold it to the uh, frame of the of the robot. Um, anyway, you can get these off of eBay. I think they're just a few bucks. This one here, I actually 3D printed. So if you have access to a 3D printer, uh, I believe I put the uh, file in the video uh, whenever I'm whenever I built this this uh, robot car. I believe I made a link to it. So if you want to follow that link, you you can. So, all right, so we got this, we got the Arduino Mega, we got the uh, motor motor shield that you're going to need. You're going to need also a uh, Bluetooth module. Uh, I believe this is an HC06 Bluetooth module. You're going to need um, some wires, of course, and DuPont wires. Um, I got quite a selection of them here, um, various links and everything, too. Um... You're also going to need a uh, GPS module. Um, this one is a U-Blocks um, Neo 6M Bluetooth module. 
Um, you can see it. There's another here on the other robot here. This is the uh, antenna for it right here. This thing, and this is the actual module. <clears throat> and you're also going to need a um, HMC 5883L uh, magnetometer. This is a compass. This uh, tells you the uh, the the heading of the vehicle, so it knows which direction it's it, it's headed in. Uh, so you'll definitely need that. And this right here is probably the most crucial thing. This is going to be the most complicated thing, the whole, most complicated piece of the whole operation. This is going to be the most time time consuming piece right here, believe it or not. But um, anyway, and as you can see on this one, um, there is a I've got a um, piece here. This is just a, a, sh a shaft on, on mast uh, for the uh, GP or for the um, compass to sit on top of, and we need it to get get it up and away from any of the motors or anything um, metallic, uh, anything that's this ferrous material. Because if I made a, another video um, uh, about these uh, these little header pins here. These come with the with the compass. The problem is, is these little header pins. Some of them are made of ferrous material, and that ferrous material will cause our compass to um, show inaccurate readings. So the first thing we need to do when hooking up this uh, uh, build, building this robot, uh, once you've got it to, to this this point here is to make sure that uh, your header pins are not ma made of any ferrous material and how you want to do that is just take a really strong magnet and if, it, and if these things stick to the magnet or if they're drawn to it in any, any way, shape, matter, or form uh, get some different ones so um, what else Thing that, and of course we're going to need a, a battery pack of some kind I've, um, mm, I've got a rechargeable battery pack um, this is a lithium lithium ion battery um anyway it's uh 7.4 volts your uh your robot car is going to need something in that in that range what i do is i uh have an adapter i plug it in right here into the arduino board and then that also you can uh you can run it through the arduino or you can run it through the motor control board either way you want to do it but um uh, Anyway, that's how you wanna wanna power it. But anyway, like I say, this is just the first in a in a series of videos that I'm gonna make. This is just a very brief overview about what which direction we're headed in. So, what I would tell you to do is, <clears throat> on the very very outset of it, if you're wanting to build a, a robot car instead of going um, to one of the really big um, robots that I'm that I've got, don't do that build something simple first and then you can take what you learn from the, the small robot and go go big and that's what I did um, I started with with this you know something simple something small something that I could test out and if it crashed into a wall no big deal but with those big robots if you crash that um, you're gonna mess up your house so start out with something like this and you'll be glad you did but um, like I'm forgetting something. So anyway, go back uh, and look at the um, other videos that I made. And like I say, it's a, it's a three-part series where I show you how to build the uh, Bluetooth robot that you see here. And also I tell you how to go about um, downloading the app from MIT App Inventor. And go ahead and build that and then and then we'll start putting the compass on here and the GPS module and then we can uh, uh, upload the software to this to this robot and we can download the latest um, once I get it on there and once I get the uh, app onto MIT App Inventor you can go to go there and download the app so that we can do everything you can uh, use it to go like say from GPS position to GPS position. Alright, so just stay tuned and thanks for watching.